Hello, so it's been a minute and I've become pretty rusty in uh, CP. So uh, now that I'm trying to get back into it, I realize that I've never had any formal training. All I've done is just solved a few problems on code forces and add coder, and that's really it. So my plan now is just to go through the Husico guide and just solve question by question and hopefully fill any gaps in my knowledge. Uh, so yeah, so this is episode zero in which I'll just be showcasing my current competitive programming setup. So yeah. So the main thing is I'm now trying to use snippets and essentially if I just control shift P open the palette and then type in snippets. Here I have three snippets. Uh, one to showcase all my current snippets uh, one for a for loop and one for my entire t template file. And uh, yeah, so then I can for loop quickly. Uh, I can decide whether it's an int or not. Uh, what do I want to name the looping variable? Whether I want to start at zero, end at n, and then just code. Uh, what else? And then I think the final one called CP. Yeah, the, in CP. It's just the uh, standard include, namespace std, long, long, long double. Uh, these values of infinity are nice because um, they're of the same size as the maximum value of an integer and uh, uh, a long, long. And by that, I mean this is above a billion and this is above 1e18. E and uh, But it's nice such that it's not too close to the upper bound so that even if I do one plus inf or inf plus inf, that won't lead to an immediate overflow. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, all and all are just deal with sorting normally and sorting in reverse. I put pushback for vectors. Uh, this value of mod is nice because it's a pretty consistent mod throughout all of competitive programming. So it's just nice to save. Uh, yes, yeah, cmin and cmax may look like a weird function to save, but it's actually pretty useful when it comes to dynamic programming. And all it does, uh, going through cmin, for example, is that if you give the function a value for a and a value for b, if the value of b is ever smaller than, than the value of a, you just set a to that value. You never change the value of b at all. It is just changing the value of a whenever the value of b is smaller than it. And max is the opposite. Uh, you just change a when the value of b is bigger than it. Uh, next, we have this code to debug, which I think I got from code forces. And the main thing is is that so you can easily debug any code when you when you deal with any issues or uh, any bugs. So all I do is type in debug x, and then it'll just output in a nice format what the uh, content of x are. Uh, this is the solve function. And then in main, the point of these two lines is just for fast input, so there are no issues with uh, time. And uh, yeah, that is my setup. Uh, voila. <laughs>